not something you see every day. Not something you see every day, something extra special. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Epcot. Today, we're back for more Festival of the Holidays fun. The plan for tonight, hopefully we can make it and get a good spot, is to see the Candlelight Processional. A lot of friends have said, Michael, you going back? Sure thing, you know we are, let's go see it. Very exciting time today. I believe the camera search is finally over. I am filming on a brand new camera. You may be able to tell, maybe not, that's okay. It is the Canon 90D. I'm gonna take a picture of it with my phone so that you can see it as I'm vlogging here. There it is. And so you can experience it with me. It's that large camera. It's the large camera. I'm used to a large camera. I like a large camera. My 70D was perfect for so many years. Yeah, I think this is it. I, I just, I don't know, it's just habits. Old habits, I don't know, I don't know. I, I love it though. We tried so many cameras. We tried so many cameras, but I think the search is over because it's hard. It's hard to take something that you love so much, a form factor that you've used for years and just appreciate in full and kind of switch it up for something totally different. We've got the GoPro. I feel like the GoPro is kind of that, the other part, the other part of the vlogging system, but I love this Canon. Now we were here for Festival of the Holidays a few days ago, but take a look, we are here for Festival of the Holidays at night, and I love seeing the snowflakes right there shining in the night, fantastic. The wreaths in the window, mouse gear right there, and now let's make our way towards that tree. I love this time of year, even though it is winter time here in the United States anyway. You can tell everyone's in shorts and t-shirts having a great time looking at the snowman made of a plant. It's, it's grass made of a plant right there. I love it. I love spending the holidays here at Disney because it's nice and warm and you get to celebrate the holidays. Now I have to admit from a Marylander, it's a little bit different perspective because I expect cold, I expect snow. And so this is a little bit different our first winter together as Florida residents. Just take a look at that tree. It definitely invokes a magical feeling as you look at it and experience world showcase. Wow, you can only see the angel all the way up there. Really, really magical. Oh my gosh, I love it. Really interesting to see. You can see a photographer near the front of the tree. There's also a photo pass photographer on the right-hand side of the tree as well. Facing a little bit of a dilemma here. Do I go for another cookie now or rush over to Candlelight Processional to get a good seat and then get a cookie later? I hope that we can get a cookie later. We'll see, we'll see. Hopefully we can, hopefully we can. I'm tempted by so many things as we're walking by here, but at Lahayam, that's the one spot that I've found some amazing food so far. That being said, you know, it's the only one we've tried so far, so the pastrami was just, oh my gosh, out of this world. So was the, uh, the uh, Linzer cookie though. That's in Germany, oh, so good so far. More to try, more to try. Now for reference, the time is now 7.36 in the evening, so we're gonna try and find a spot for the 8.15 show at this point. Is it too late? Probably, but we're gonna try. Well, good news and bad news. Good news is the line is still taking more guests. The bad news is it uh, stretches for a long, long way. So we'll be able to see it tonight. I no doubt we're gonna have a great time with it, but it's gonna be kind of further in the back, I have no doubt. That's a lot of people. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of people here. There it is, the first show is ending right now. We're heading to the Italy side to try and get in the other line. Now, before we see the show tonight, I'm gonna head by the American Adventure kiosk here and see if they have some delicious looking food. Could go for a little bit of dinner right now. A little bit of a line here, but definitely worth it. I was looking at the menu really quickly. They have some smoked turkey that I really want to try. It looks like Thanksgiving dinner right here. Could I get the slow roasted turkey, please? This turkey dinner is thanks to Sean and Tasha. Sean and Tasha, thank you so much for your gift card. Really appreciate it. Oh, that was quite a journey, but we got our turkey and then ran in line and got a seat at the back of the theater, but that's okay. So glad to be here. Turkey looks absolutely delicious from the American Adventure. Here's some green beans right here to get started. Delicious turkey time. Gravy on top is spectacular. Wow. That's one I can definitely recommend. Overall, a fantastic dinner. The smoked turkey is delicious. The flavor of the turkey, the gravy on top, so, so good. Super impressed by it. One of the best that I've had here at the festival so far, but again, we haven't had that much so far. We'll get some more as we continue on. Now in just about, I think, five minutes, we're gonna start with the Candlelight Processional. First time for us, 2019. Super excited about it. Thank you. 
You can relax for about 40 minutes or so and have these incredible musicians and singers re-energize you. So I will be appearing in The Mandalorian. worship him. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced. And rejoice in the universal message of peace on earth, and goodwill toward men. Music as we're going out, truly a magical time. Great way to start the season. Taking a look at the uh, booths right now, they seem to be closed. So nine o'clock is when they close. It's nine oh six now. Just missed that cookie. That's all right. More fun to have tonight. Truly a magical show, but the fireworks are just about to begin. And I was thinking to myself, you know, something we haven't done in a long time is go from one park to another at the late, late hour. So I was thinking about maybe we should catch the fireworks or maybe we should just go straight over to Magic Kingdom. Then I took a look at the uh, My Disney Experience app. Magic Kingdom's open till midnight tonight. Midnight. So that could be something that would be super exciting. Let's head on over there. Now you may be asking yourself, Michael, why aren't you staying for Epcot forever? Well, first of all, we've seen it recently. Second, I've learned that trick of leave just before the fireworks. Again, if you're on vacation, I don't recommend that because you will miss the fireworks and they're magical and you have limited time. But when you can see it and you've seen it several times, being here, experiencing it and leaving just before saves you 20, 30 minutes in traffic, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable the difference. <laughs> Leaving Epcot now, and I parked at Epcot, which, you know, of course you park at Epcot when you arrive here, and what I'm gonna do is something very interesting. I'm going to take the monorail from Epcot to Magic Kingdom. You're thinking to yourself, all right, Michael, that makes sense, but Epcot closes at, what, 9.30, 9.30, and it's 9.28 now, or something like that, fireworks are about to go off. How are you gonna get back to your car once you are done at the Magic Kingdom. Apparently, I've never actually tried it before, but I'm looking forward to trying it, you get a bus from Magic Kingdom directly to Epcot, and on top of all of that, apparently, it takes you much closer to your car. So, we're gonna try this today. It's gonna be a very interesting experiment. You can hear it right now, that soundtrack is beginning for Happily Ever After. Oh, it's right over there. You can see it right there. There it is. Let's head in there. Ever after. Fantastic. And now this set, this area is open right here because Main Street USA is 100% full. Let's go this way. Fantastic. Now note, if you're back here and you want to stand and watch it from this pathway, there's a tape line right here. You stand inside the tape line. I gotta tell you, yeah, you can't see the projections quite as well. It's awesome back here. I love it. And again, this area, look how much space I have. What? Super impressed, even though it's not the full projection show, it's enough of it so you can really get the story. Last minute spot, literally 10.01, I walked in. Wow.
to beat the crowd. That was definitely a magical spot to see it from, right as the entryway or exitway of Magic Kingdom, the excess route, really impressed. We saw some of the merchandise at Epcot for the holidays. Take a look right here in the Starbucks of Magic Kingdom. You can see the special Starbucks mug right there with the same design as the big mug right back there that we saw earlier. It's got a little hole in the bottom right there. It costs, I think it costs $10, not 100% sure, but they've got blue and red. Very cool. Now we mentioned at Epcot how leaving before the fireworks really helps with the crowds. But Magic, same rules apply. If you leave right before the fireworks, you get less crowds. But if you stay for the fireworks, stay in the park. Just don't, because it just you will stand in line for a monorail or a boat or a bus for a long time. Galactic hero power. So I always love this claw picking up Zerg right there. That's so cool. And yeah, I didn't notice till recently that Buzz is actually standing on a battery right there. That's super cool. Time for a runner to Tomorrowland Speedway. Now, the lights are not on right now because it's not during a Christmas party, but we'll definitely do it again once it is Christmas party time, which is coming up. It's coming up real soon. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Got a hold out of the wheel. Ah, uh, okay, take a look to our left. You can see some of those trees over there again. This is all preparation for the Christmas party. Take a look right there. You can see the snowballs in the grass right there on both sides of the car. Coming up on our left, we've got present row with sugar cubes all around. Looks super nice. And then the pile of snowballs right over here. Looking forward to seeing all of this lit during the party. The track right here for Tron Light Cycle. It is literally, literally right over, not directly over, but it looks like it's over part of the Tomorrowland Speedway. I'm super impressed with how close it gets. I'm looking forward to seeing it when it's all done, seeing guests kind of fly over us. It's almost like a snow roller coaster. It's kind of like a wave right here. I like that. Kind of a snowflake right up there and the diamond. Then you got kind of the snow ground mobile. That's what I'm gonna call that one. Coming up here with more of those diamonds and those uh, bush lights right there. Can't wait to see all of it on in the future. That was great. It was a great run on the Tomorrowland Speedway. Looking forward to trying it once the lights are turned on during Mickey's very merry Christmas party. Side note about that. I know we're behind on it this year. We should have been here much earlier. I just kind of put it off because I was hoping for that party pass. So next year we'll have a much earlier party. What a night, what a truly magical night. I mean, there's times like this where you smile and you think about how, oh my gosh, it's so late and I gotta get to sleep. It's like 11.20 at night. And then you're like, you know what? It's okay, it's all right. We're experiencing the magic together. And in my opinion, that's priceless. That is absolutely priceless. It's really a magical time of year because you see PhotoPass photographers taking pictures in this direction. You got the castle right back there, it makes sense. Then you also see PhotoPass photographers stationed facing this way. Also makes sense looking down Main Street USA with these lights. I love it, I love it. Magical time of year, amazing. There's a Christmas card right there facing this direction. Just found out from a cast member the way to do this is to catch the express monorail from here to the TTC and then catch a bus at the TTC to Epcot and then the bus can take us right, right to the parking area. So let's find out how this works. Now as excited as I am to try the bus, it looks like this is the last monorail to Epcot. Oh my gosh! I had no idea but the Epcot monorail is running till 1 in the morning and we get to ride on the monorail with these creepy uh, dolls from Toy Story 4. So creepy. It's very hard to see outside, but it's amazing to be here and ride around even when the park is closed because you can see what's happening. The construction vehicles are out there actually moving around, moving things around, and as we pass Cosmic Rewind, it, it almost looks like there was a screen that they take away and you can see all the way into the building. Fisher Birth right there. Hopefully we'll see Cosmic Rewind and the entrance to Epcot here. But there's Cosmic Rewind. Oh yes, right there. You can see like, the yellow area right there. It's all open and you can see construction is underway inside Cosmic Rewind. Wow. You can see we're not the only ones who took the monorail back to Epcot from the Magic Kingdom or TTC. The others definitely parked in this parking lot as well. So Disney does make it easy to park in one and then get to another. And I'm thinking to myself, yes, it probably would have been quicker to go to the TTC park there and kind of go there because we were already, you know, we took the express monorail anyway. But this is this is nice. I think it's a more relaxing way because there's gonna be no traffic at all. Epcot's been closed for hours, so it's gonna be nice. Very, very unique. You just kind of walk from the exit and then you make your way through the old security checkpoint. And then I'm guessing, yep, we just uh, exit this way. Wow. I think the best word for it is weird. It is weird to be out here with just like nobody. It's like it's like abandoned. It's <laughs> abandoned Epcot parking lot. 
That's something you don't see every day. By the way, it's past midnight at this point, so a little bit of a late night, but you know I love it. Now I know what you're thinking, Michael, isn't it nice to be leaving by yourself? It, it is. Oh yeah, I mean it's nice, but there's a part of it that's like eerie. It, it's eerie. I mean it's just weird. It's like, uh, pfft, okay, am I in the right spot? Is it, am I allowed to be here? Like, I am, and you know, security just kind of kind of helping us get to our cars and everything, but. The amount of cars here is just, it's eerie. It's just, let me just tell you, it's its eerie. Not something I would necessarily recommend you go out of your way for just because you're walking in an empty parking lot, but it's cool. Not something you see every day. Not something you see every day. Something extra special that I've never seen before. I know they say like, don't walk around like abandoned places, but the, of all the places to walk around that are like totally abandoned, this is the one I would choose, honestly. This is, it's interesting. I was about to end the vlog and I was thinking to myself, you know what? Can't end it because I haven't made it to the car yet. And I know what you're thinking. You'd be like, Michael, did you make it back to the car in this scary, eerie parking lot? Uh, okay, we're going to make it to the car. Then I will end the vlog. 12.19 in the morning. That's the time we were making it back to the car after Epcot closed at 9.30 at night. For reference. Thanks so much for sharing in the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day. Oh,